Hello and welcome to another Blender Know How tutorial. In this video we're going to learn how to create an explosion. We're going to blow a cube up. So uh, this is the uh, demo picture that I've created and this is what we're making. Let's just jump into this. This is the preview that I've made. So we're going to be able to um, do this. So we're taking a cube and we're blowing it up like I said. So let's just jump right into it. Open a brand new Blender scene and I'm um, going to turn on screencast keys. That does not look it's on. So you can see what I'm doing down here if you need to on certain keys that I'm pressing. But I'm going to take this cube, I'm going to go and hit tab and go into edit mode and then hit uh, right click and subdivide. Come down here and I'm going to subdivide it up. I'm going to go 10 to start out with. Okay, I can go d further than that. Uh, depending on your computer, you may or may not want to go too far, just kind of up to what your specs are on your computer. So maybe I'll do something like that. That looks good detail, nothing too crazy. Okay, and now I'm gonna go over here. Uh, actually, no, there's a better way. So we can actually hit with your uh, mouse in the middle here, just hit F3 and type in explode. Hit enter and half our work is done for us because we're using this uh, fairly new. I mean, it's been out for a couple years, but uh, feature and blender and uh, yeah, still a couple options here. We don't really need to worry about too much of this, but we can change the amount of pieces to um, a fairly decent number, depending on how many pieces you want to explode. So maybe I'll leave it at 10 just to show the difference here. We do want this to be different. The duration is going to be how long the explosion lasts, um, not for how long it will go from um, being here to the ground. We're not affecting gravity at all, but we're affecting like if, if the explosion doesn't finish, it will just stop in midair. So I'm going to use the 250 here and that'll, that should be fine. Also going to change this to 250, should be good. Cool. So now we can get rid of that. We can actually hit spacebar and you'll see some stuff happen. So I broke it into 100 pieces and uh, yeah. Now you can see that the velocity of this, like it doesn't look very explosive, right? Well. The particles is what you need to be looking at here. Most of the effect done here is through the particles. That 100 that we chose here, we can actually change here in the particles. So uh, the particles is the one that looks kind of like a, looks like vectors, I don't know. Looks maybe like the 3D thing up here, with that right there. And then your emission, this is where most of your things that we just set down here in the corner are now. So you can always change them later, but the number right here, that is how many pieces there were. So I'm actually going to increase that. I, I like maybe like a thousand pieces. Uh, you should see that. That's also another reason why I subdivided it is to give it that really shattered. I could even go higher probably. Let's, let's see what happens if I go uh, 10,000 and start this over. Uh, whenever you're doing a simulation, you always want to start it back here. Okay, now you can see they're all coming out as squares. And that's because we ran out of vertices. So if I hit tab and I right click and hit subdivide one more time, that will actually fix that problem. And it will either be square still because there's still not enough points or yeah, like some of these aren't square. So that's another good way to kind of detect which, which setting you need to change here. If I want more particles, maybe do I need to sub subdivide? Do I need to increase this number? So that's kind of what you're going to be checking with. Okay, so first off, one thing that just makes a really big difference is clicking on this rotation right here. Uh, it will allow it to be a little bit more, well, I guess we can just play it and you can see. So first off, it looks flat. It looks like it didn't rotate. There should be a randomize. Yeah, you wanna hit this randomize. I'm just gonna drag it all the way up to one and then hit play. And you can see that we got some cool effects going on. It looks randomized. Okay. So that's looking fine. What we need to be looking for now, and you can see right here, it's velocity. We need to change the uh, the explosiveness of this. This is just falling, which doesn't look very good at all, actually, just because it's not really doing a whole ton. Also, our random just disappeared. Um, our rotation randomness. Oh, you also need to hit dynamic. I did not. Yeah, 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 that's what we needed to hit. 
and then it gives it, so the dynamic essentially just makes it so that it can rotate after it starts the explosion. If you don't click that, then uh, collisions and other things don't affect it. And that's the main reason why things spin when they explode, because they get hit by something in the explosion or some kind of impact happens on them. So, okay, now we're going to be working with the velocity. And uh, if you increase this normal, that is going to be your biggest bang. If like that's gonna make it actually bang, <laughs> so it's your biggest bang for your buck. Plus, it's also going to be the bang. So uh, yeah, increase that. Let's just show you what happens if I increase it to five. This is it's kind of a big difference, and you, you can see that we've got like it is exploding, but because it's a square, it's a cube, it's exploding in kind of a weird way. Maybe we want it to be more random. So there should be a random in here, right here, randomized. So we can increase this. Maybe I want that to be 10. Something to keep in mind is this random by 10 will give it a plus or minus 10 to this. So we'll have in some places we'll actually have a negative 5 meters per second normal. So it's possible for things to, to actually explode the opposite. So usually you don't want that. So you might want to always keep your normal or your, your uh, yeah, Always, almost always keep your normal as high as your randomize because um, you can always have this more but you'll start getting a, maybe a little bit undesired results which is fine a little bit but aha uh -huh, now we're, we're getting some good stuff so that's looking pretty good I'm liking the way this is working if you want this to be perfectly round well just use a sphere it's, it's, it's honestly more realistic that way in the first place this wouldn't if it was a cube and it was exploding, it probably would explode this way unless there's some kind of force acting on it that kept it in a different way. So that's pretty much like what I want to show you. You can play with a lot of these settings. The The biggest ones that you're going to want here are the uh, normal the uh, and the randomize here. Those are the main two on that one. And the rotation, uh, you might also want to, yeah, so it's, it's going to be the randomize here and the dynamic. You can also play with some other settings, but those are the main ones. So good luck with your projects. If you have any questions about any other settings, post them in the comments. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, I do 